you eat biryani and you feel happy and you eat curd rice and you feel calm and comforted so clearly what you eat affects how you feel right but here's something we rarely think about it's not just about what you eat what you don't eat also affects how you feel your mood energy focus and clarity we often blame our mind for feeling off but your mind is only half the story the other half lives in the gut and that's where this begins hi i'm gayatri arvind founder of abasa rehab and wellness we offer residential rehabilitation for people struggling with addiction mental health disorders eating disorders and chronic conditions over the past 6 years we have helped over thousands of people reclaim their lives through personalized care through this channel we share practical wisdom to empower your mental health so here's what actually happening inside your body we usually think our gut digests food but it's also talking to our brain constantly scientists discovered that the gut has over 500 million neurons and these neurons are wired directly through our brain through something called the vagus nerve uh, think of it like a phone line gut calls our brain and brain calls our gut back and forth conversation happens all the time so when your gut is struggling maybe uh, you've been eating junk food skipping meals barely drinking water it starts sending emergency signals to your brain through that phone line what will happen when your brain picks up the phone and hears something is wrong down here it doesn't know the exact problem it just got an alert which means there is a threat danger and that we are not safe so it responds the only way it knows by anxiety brain fog low mood or irritability also scientists say 90% of your serotonin the chemical that keeps your mood stable and happy is not made in the brain it's made in your gut so if your gut is inflamed empty or imbalanced your brain literally doesn't have the materials to keep you calm see you can meditate and journal to process your emotions but if your gut is starving of the essential nutrients it will affect your mood and emotions see this table here are some key nutrients it needs iron and b12 these carry oxygen to your brain and without them our brain will feel like it's suffocating you'll be mentally tired emotionally low and struggling to concentrate to consume iron and b12 you should have spinach dates pumpkin seeds eggs and meat omega 3 fatty acids your brain is made mostly of fat and omega 3 is the essential type it needs without it your neurons struggle to communicate you feel dull slow disconnected but if you have omega 3s your mind will feel sharper more emotionally steady food sources that are rich in omega 3s are walnuts flax seeds chia seeds and fatty fish zinc and magnesium these two help regulate your nervous system when they are low you feel restless anxious irritable you may snap easily or wake up tired and panicked food sources high in zinc and magnesium are cashews dark chocolate curd spinach and pumpkin seeds complex carbs your brain runs on glucose but not the kind from uh, sugar crashes it needs slow burning fuel without it you feel drained moody and unmotivated food sources like uh, ragi oats brown rice sweet potato and millets have slow glycemic index water your brain is nearly 75% water even mild dehydration reduces your focus and increases irritability most people are tired because they are actually dehydrated so make sure you are sufficiently hydrated gut friendly foods your gut isn't just a tube it's a home to trillions of bacteria and these tiny organisms influence your mood memory and emotions they need fiber and fermented food to stay balanced when they are fed well they protect your mind studies show fermented foods can reduce anxiety by up to 40% gut friendly food sources are curd banana kanji fermented dosa or idli batter and fiber rich vegetables see i am not a nutritionist i have just shared what i practice in my life and if you feel that your plate is lacking all these nutrients then 
it's high time you fix that there's nothing wrong take help from a nutritionist for a month or two till you get an idea what your body and your brain needs ask yourself daily did i eat something that nourishes my brain did i drink enough water or have i been feeding my gut or starving it because when your brain finally gets the nutrients it's been missing you will feel it you'll become more focused energetic and peaceful